All right, here at the winter meetings with uh, Dodger legend, baseball legend, Tommy Lasorda. Tommy, how you doing? How are you enjoying this? I'm doing great. I enjoy coming here because you get to see people that you haven't seen in a long time, and you uh, really have a good time. When you look at, and, and you know, just rambling, it's very rare that I get a chance to talk to a guy like you, but looking in your own organization first, the Dodgers, when you look at a guy like Clint Kershaw, you've seen a lot of great pitchers. See the best? Oh, he's a great pitcher without a doubt. Just check his salary, then you'll know <laughs> how good he is. No, he's, he's an outstanding young man, and, and he's done a tremendous job for us for the few years that he's been there in big leagues. He's great. Speaking of salaries, what goes through your head? I mean, people are talking about John Lester and Max Scherzer and James Shields. You know the kind of money these guys are going to make. Does that blow you away? I didn't think it was real money. I thought it was Monopoly money. <laughs> it's a lot of money, boy, I tell you. Pitchers in your day, a heck of a lot different than pitchers now. When you see a guy go out after the seventh inning or the sixth inning because of a pitch count, knowing, you know, back in the day that, you know, they could truck through it and throw a complete game and throw 160 or 70 yeah. pitches, what goes through your mind? Well, we used to pitch. Uh, when I played, uh, you, you got tougher in the seventh, eighth, and ninth inning. That's what it was. You know, I said to Hershiser one day, uh, before he started that streak, I said to him, uh, do you, you ever play poker? And he said, yeah. I said, did you ever play poker and tell your roommate, hey, play my money, I'll see you tomorrow? He said, oh, no. I said, why not? He said, well, it's my money. I said, well, when that guy comes in to you relieve you, he's messing with your money. So why should you let him have the opportunity of either win or lose your money? Do it yourself. And then he started pitching nine innings. It's a heck of a way to look at it. You're absolutely right, and I would agree with you too. But, you know, looking at the Hall of Fame, and you're a Hall of Fame yourself, there's guys like Bonds and obviously Sosa and some of these guys, Roger Clemens, that some of the writers have a tough time putting in because maybe people think they use steroids. Or no, people don't think. They People know. How you doing, buddy? Would you, did people, the, people know that they were involved with drugs, and that's why they're not... That's why they're not getting into the Hall of Fame, and they do not belong in the Hall of Fame. Ever? Ever. Ever. Even guys that maybe are rumored to have PDs? Well, no, you don't rumor. It's just the, the word today is suspicious. Uh, you know, if they know you've been taking them, they're not going to put you in. You cheated. That's not, that's not right. So that's the reason why they don't let them make it. What do you say to people that say, hey, Barry Bonds was a Hall of Famer before he used? I don't care what they say. He doesn't belong in the Hall of Fame, I'm telling you. Last one for you, and we really appreciate your time. You've had so many memories and moments in your career. What's the best? What, what comes to your mind the most? Well, you know, that's like asking me what's the best plate of spaghetti I've ever eaten. <laughs> Heck, I've eaten so many plates of spaghetti, so I have so many good, wonderful things that happened to me over the years that I've managed the Dodgers for 20 years. So I can't tell you every one of them. Thank you so much. We appreciate the time. All right. Thank you.